Today, I want to apologize to all my developer friends that I've worked with for all the pain I've inflicted on you for making you do really complicated animations on iOS. I've been learning that the last few days and it is absolutely brutal. So I'm going to do a little bit of update on what I figured out, but also I'm sorry. I don't do it on purpose, but it seems that all these updates come at around a hundred hour mark, which is kind of interesting. So I just, uh, I looked earlier. Yeah. And you can see here that I'm at just roughly 600 hours learning how to program, which to be honest, I should think about how much time that actually is. I haven't thought about it for a while. It seems like a lot. Um, but also when I look at the stuff that I've, that I'm able to do, uh, all this code that I've written, it's, uh, it still kind of blows my mind. So uh, things are going well. The last week I've been working on animations, which are way more, way more complicated. I should say counterintuitive than, than, uh, I thought were was possible on iOS. And, um, just to do something simple that I'm going to show you, and this is kind of like a, felt like a big thing. Cause there's a few, there's a lot of stuff that even in these small features has to get learned. And those things can seem like big things because you can see the power of them later. So let me show you quickly what I mean. Uh, so what I was working on was this simple interface on this card where you just start typing and it brings a bunch of people up that you can, uh, as you type, find the person that you're looking for and then tap so that you can add a note and, and save it. So there's a certain slider. Um, I mean, yeah. So that's her. That's the note I just added. So just doing that is extremely uh, challenging because there's a lot of stuff happening here. One is that this view, this screen here has a whole bunch of different pieces. So the p place where it says add person is one thing. When you start typing, uh, this panel that pops up is another thing. Each of those rows inside the panel is another thing. And then when you pick one, it looks like all it did was put the name at the top, but that's a whole other thing. And each of those things is a file. Each of those files doesn't know about the other files unless you tell them about it. And so you have to like pass information back and forth, but the system has very clear rules about, or I should say it has rules about how you do that, but they're not clear, or at least they're not obvious. And so just kind of getting the information passed back and forth is, is quite challenging. But the main thing that I was excited about was this animation. Uh, so let me cancel back out. So basically as you search, it will, it will just pop up this panel and that panel will narrow down the people as you search for them. And then as you search back, it'll go back. It'll hide itself uh, completely behind the keyboard uh, when you're done. So I had to learn also that the keyboard has a certain size and you have to learn how to calculate that keyboard. And there's little, what they're called notifications on the system level that tell you when the keyboard is coming up, but it doesn't tell you the size. So you have to figure out how to calculate the size. <laughs> and the whole thing's just bananas. Um, so whenever you're using this, another app and you see something simple like this, just take a moment and uh, to appreciate how much went, much suffering went into creating something like that, because it's, I'm well aware of the fact that when someone's going to come into my app one day and, and tap here and just search for some name and select it and then write a note and save it, then that's going to be to them, no big deal to me. It will have been a battle hard fought for a week. Um, but on the other side of it, I understand things a little bit more, a lot more actually. And it's just one more little layer of knowledge that's making things go a lot faster now. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in, the, in another update, but I also added sorting. So now you can sort people uh, on these lists. So each of these lists, you can sort by whatever. Um, they all have a sort except the reminders, which I'll still need to add. So sorting was another thing that was uh, challenging, but also taught a whole bunch of pieces. So each one of these tiny little projects opens up a world of different pieces that you have to learn, but each of those pieces is useful uh, in the future. And you can see that right away when you start using them, you understand the power of how these things are broken down. Anyway, that's the thing. Uh, the app is, is actually coming along quite well. Obviously it looks, it still looks janky, but that's kind of, that will be sorted out uh, later. And, um, and I'm still hoping to, or I am hoping to launch it or launch the new version early, uh, 2024 with a migration of all the existing users onto the system. And then from there is when it gets really interesting because that's when I get to start playing with new ideas and putting new stuff in. But at first I want to kind of get everybody moved over safe and sound uh, before I start messing around with uh, other stuff. So for now, re replicate it, move everybody over and then play. Anyway, I'll leave it there.